I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to represent absolute functions as piecewise functions. So we will work with these four examples. The question is absolute functions as piecewise functions. We have four of them. b of x equals to x minus 5 absolute value. a of x is equals to absolute value of 2x plus 10 and c is f of x equals to x plus 2 divided by absolute value of x plus 2 d is g of x equals to 2x minus 1 divided by absolute value of 2x minus 1. Now as you know absolute value always returns a positive value right. So basically absolute function will be defined I should write this like this absolute value of x minus 5 will be defined as as equal to x minus 5 when x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0 and minus of x minus 5 when x minus 5 is less than 0. Is that okay? That is how we are going to define it. Now to be more precise we could also write this as equals to x minus 5 for if I take 5 on that side we get x greater than or equals to 5 or minus x plus 5 for x less than 5. Is it okay? So that is how you are going to define this absolute function. So let's do the next one. So a of x can be defined as equals to this absolute value of 2x plus 10. So we could write this as 2x plus 10 when 2x plus 10 is greater than or equal to 0 when it is positive. However, if it is negative, will make it negative. Do you see? Negative of negative will be positive. So which is 2x plus 10 is less than 0. Now we could write this as a of x equals to 2x plus 10 when taking this to the right side and dividing by 2 x is greater than or equal to 5. On the other hand minus of you could also write like this 2x plus 10 when x is less than 5. Do you see that? So that is how you are going to define it. Now based on this, let's solve these two questions. You can actually pause the video, answer them, right? So let's see how to define f of x. So f of x will be equals to this denominator part, which is x plus 2 absolute value, will be positive when x is greater than or equal to which value? Minus 2, right? So we could write this as equals to x plus 2 over x plus 2 when x is greater than or equal to minus 2. However, this value in the denominator will be negative when x is less than minus 2. Do you see that? So in that case, we'll get this as x plus 2 divided by minus of x plus 2. Is it okay? So this function could be actually written as f of x equals to this is plus 1 and this is minus 1 when x is greater than or equals to minus 2 and in this case x is less than 2. Do you get it? So that is how you could define this function. So it is either plus 1 or minus 1 depending on the x value. If it is greater than or equal to minus 2, it is plus 1. If it is less than 2, I should say minus 2, I'm sorry. In that case, it is going to be minus 1. You get an idea, right? So. That is how you could actually rewrite these absolute functions as piecewise functions. Now that is question for you to practice. So take this as your test questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.